Hey, I'm Jeff Baumgartner with Light Reading Cable. I'm pleased to be joined by Kevin Hart with Cox Communications. Hi, Jeff. Hi, good to see you here at the Cable Show. Glad now, to be here. Now, it's been about a year since you joined the company. And so can you can give me a sense in terms of what your your priorities are you know, right now that you're you know, now a year into the job. Okay, great. You know, at Cox Communications, we're obviously focused on our customers, but we've really been investing in new product launches and mm -hmm. innovation, both for residential as well as our commercial business. Mm -hmm. I've got an interesting role that combines IT, network engineering and operations. So from an operations perspective, focused on the day-to-day -day customer service delivery, and uh, that's our mission, mission number one. Okay. From network engineering, we're focused on investing for our network for the future, going to an IP transition over time, and then from an IT perspective, all about new product development, uh, new applications, and, and new products for our residential and commercial services customers. All right, and we're we'll, we'll getting to TV everywhere a little bit here Great. soon, but you, you talked about like a, an IP migration. so. Uh, I guess, how do you see that happening? It seems like there's a lot of different approaches that like, cable operators can take. Maybe you know, use like a gateway and go like with a hybrid approach, or uh, you know, I, I, what, kind of what, what's your thinking in terms of how you know Cox might pursue that that sort of a strategy on, on the video side? Yeah, you're absolutely right. I think a hybrid approach is probably the path that we're will be pursuing because okay. uh, uh, we've got an embedded base and we also mm -hmm. want to prepare for the future. So looking at uh, the QAM and the IP gateways mm -hmm. and uh, we're doing some trials right now in our labs and I really see that being a path forward as well as building out the IP infrastructure on the network side and putting in uh, the CDN caches along the way as well for video distribution. Okay, and for a lot of cable operators, um, you know, the IP video transition seems to kind of start with the TV everywhere arena, you right. know, maybe right. delivering on-demand you know content to uh, customers in and out of the home but also uh, you know some live you know video so and, and I think let's start on the live side you, right. know, you guys uh, you know, last year I think it was launched uh, an application for uh, the iPad so right. so kind of give us up the, give us up the speed on where you are with with that product and, and what, what do you guys see you know, kind of happening you know here in the months ahead right you know, what, what are kind of the next steps yeah we were very excited to launch our Cox TV connect which mm -hmm. is live uh, live feed to the uh, iPad mm -hmm. rolled that out in about a nine month development cycle last year which for mm -hmm. us was a rapid innovation and and now we're really on a quarterly release schedule where we're putting out more channels more content more mm -hmm. functionality and also expanding that uh, to other uh, applications applications as well beyond just the iPad. Okay. And as far as like what channels go in that lineup, is it uh, is it a rights issue or is it a technology issue, you know, determining, you know, how, how many channels go on that lineup? It's primarily a rights issue. Okay. Uh, there is some infrastructure around mm -hmm. local encoding and so forth that we need to mm -hmm. deploy, but really working hand in hand with our programming team and uh, working on getting the rights so we can put more and more content on, on our live linear Cox TV Connect platform. Okay, and how about on the on-demand side? Um, what, what's kind of the status of uh, you know, uh, the amount of content or uh, you know, devices that you're supporting right now uh, beyond the, you know, the linear stuff? Right, we have yeah. uh, Cox TV Online, which has mm -hmm. uh, access to the on-demand library, and we're bringing those together in a consistent uh, user experience over time. We've got, uh, as I mentioned, quarterly releases, mm -hmm. bringing that content together uh, and making a very robust and uh, a really uh, video value proposition that people will, will really like. Okay. Well, great. Well, Kevin, thanks a lot for your time today. I really All appreciate right. it. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, good to be here. All right. Thank thanks. you.